Well, what do renting an apartment, getting a job offer, and car insurance rates all have in common? Your credit history could impact all of those and more. It's Financial Wellness Wednesday, and school's first federal credit union has an advance on how to build rebuild your good credit. Here to talk to us is Fruit Ridge Branch Manager Tamara Beaver. She joined us to share what goes into determining a credit score. Welcome to you, Tamara. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It is good to see you, my friend. So tell us, for those who out there who maybe don't know what School's First Credit Union is, tell us what it is exactly. So we are a credit union across California whose purpose is to serve school employees and their immediate family members. You know, we have a large commitment to financial stability um, for our members. So I'm really excited to be here today to kind of help share with your viewers ways that we can either build credit or rebuild credit um, if you've had some kind of suffer when it comes to credit yeah. because it's so um, unstable sometimes. I bet it is. Yes. Yeah. So tell us a little bit what goes into determining a credit score for folks maybe who don't know what that, what that is. So that there goes. are five different factors that you really should pay attention to that can really impact you in a better or worse um, kind of way. So your payment history. Credit bureaus want to see how are you making your payments and are you making them on time. We also focus a lot on credit utilization. How are you using the credit that you're given? Um, a mix of credit. Credit bureaus love a mix of different types of credit. You don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket when it comes to credit. Um, the length of your credit history, so how long have you had credit. That's why we always recommend don't close your oldest card. And then also how many new credit lines are you opening and, and in what time frame. You know, new credit lines typically translates to inquiries that has the potential to affect your credit as well. Now, you mentioned earlier um, some of the stuff that credit history can impact, but tell us some other things that it could impact that maybe people don't realize out there. So like we spoke about earlier, your um, auto insurance uh -huh. can be impacted. Um, a lot of times when you go to rent an apartment, they check your credit. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important that you are paying attention to kind of that credit history, your credit score. Um, it also impacts your mortgage if you're going to apply for a mortgage or the interest rate that you'll pay on any type of loan that you should need, an auto loan, credit card, or anything like that. So um, it has a very big impact. You know, we're starting to also see some utility companies check your credit for establishing kind of a new utility. And I can only imagine how difficult that would be for somebody who hasn't built any credit yet. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's trying to start this new life, and here they are. Exactly. So yeah. what, speaking of that, so what are some tips that folks can do to build their credit score? So some of the most important things you can can do. So there are really two things that have a big impact. Again, paying your payments on time. So your payment history, that makes up about 35% of your score. So making sure you are paying your payments on time. Mm -hmm. One way to do that is to set up automatic payments so you can set it and forget it, right? Yeah, so you yeah. don't have to think about it. Um, and the other thing is your credit utilization. We talk a lot about this 30%. You don't want to use more than 30% of your credit limit that's available to you. So um, if you have a $1,000 credit card, try to keep your balance below $300 at any given time because that will really negatively impact once you hit past that 30% fresh uh, threshold. Uh -huh. And for a new consumer who's trying to build credit, say you don't have credit, uh -huh. getting a credit card, a small credit card, using that card, making your payments on time, uh -huh. not going over that 30% will really help you establish some good credit habits. Even if you have to do little alerts in your phone, like you yes. mentioned, or on your calendar in your phone, just remember to pay it. Yes. It's so important to it's pay it on time. It's a huge part of uh -huh. your credit score. Huge yes. part. Yes, yes. Um, so say folks do those do those tips, how soon can they see results from that? You know, while I wish there was some special formula that would tell yeah. you that, um, we, when we talk about credit, we say it is a marathon, not a race. Uh -huh. And so you have to really, um, it starts with establishing good credit habits, um, good routines when it comes to making payments and your spending. Uh -huh. um, and there is no set timeline. So if you are trying to build credit, getting that credit card, um, you should see a score within six months or so. Oh. Rebuilding it really depends on, on what has impacted your credit and how to kind of get out of that. So it may sometimes be checking your spending and your budgeting. And so there uh, there is no perfect formula, um, but just remember it's a patient's game and it takes consistency. Right, it takes yeah. years sometimes to yes. get yourself out of it. It's not yes. gonna be like that. That's and right, but it's doable. You can do it, it's, that's the important thing. It's doable. You yes. give us, you give us confidence in that. So any last tips that you can give our, our viewers out there? Yes, so there is a great resource out there that does um, that has some free financial workshops. If you want to learn more about how to build credit, it's called Green Path Financial Wellness. Um, you can access their website through the school's first FCU website under our advice tab. We also have a blog um, that's called Extra Credit that goes over a lot of different financial tips. Um, for anything that you could you could be looking for, how to save money here, how to build credit. Um, so that's another great resource. And um, of course, we always say, reach out to your financial institution, see your financial mm -hmm. professional, yeah. you know, depending on what your need is, sit down with somebody, talk to them, we can help set you on a path. And one last thing, so the biggest thing with the credit score, what do you impart to our viewers out there to remember and to keep in mind with the credit score? 
with the credit score, making your payments on time, and really being responsible with the way you utilize your credit. You know, I remember being a young person, swiping that card, thinking I had all of this money to spend, and that really hurt me more than it helped me. So really kind of getting um, in a habit and a routine of responsible um, financial choices. That's a good point, making it a habit. Yes. Just making it a habit to pay it on time. That's right. A little calendar alert yes. to make sure it's all paid off. Absolutely. That is great information. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, it was my pleasure. Love it. For more information, you can visit schoolsfirstfcu.org. Well, up